Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well and welcome to the platform of Kutchev. So today we're gonna be solving the problem, help Akash. The difficulty level for this problem is simple and the prerequisites are your bit by Zor operation. So this is your dedicated Ansh and I hope you like my video. Let's proceed to the problem statement. Okay, now let us try to understand the problem statement. So there's a town named Chef Land where Chef lives. Only one can enter the Chef Land through visa which is granted to head chef in the town named Chef Sanjeev Kapoor. Chef Sanjeev is very interested in a single bit operation, more specifically Zor operation. Hence, he devised a test to get it to Chef Land. In the test, he may give a number n, three digits a1, a2 up till an, where ai represents the i digit of n. One must return him the number x with packets of digits say x1, x2, x3 up till xn minus 1, where xi represents the ith packet of the digits of x such that print such that print as it is if the length of digit of n is 1, my xi is equal to ai is or ai plus 1 if my i is between 1 and n minus 1 and for the last digit I have to take my a n or a1 which is the first element if my i is the last digit which is n. Your friend Akash wants to be a chef in chef land so, but for that he has to pass the test of head chef to get the visa. Help Akash to pass the test. Okay so basically in this question it is given that we have a string containing of digits. So basically these are digits given in the question. Now I have to generate my another string which is x which can be generated in the following way that we can just choose my x, x i to be any generalized a i is or a i is or plus 1 a i is or a i plus 1 which is nothing if my i is any integer between 1 and n minus 1 and if it is my last integer then the string is cyclic so we have to choose a n is or a 1 right so this is what the question is saying so now let me demonstrate what the question is saying is this using the sample test cases so here i have my element as 1 2 3 4 so as you can see for my n1234, my x1 is simply 1 and 2 ka zor. So 1 zor 2 which is 3, right? So let me just also remind you what is a bitwise zor property. So basically when you convert any number into binary, they have the following bits. So 1 zor 1, 1 zor 0, 0 zor 1, 0 x zor 0, right? So 1 x zor 1 is 0, right? 1 x zor 0 is 1, 0 x zor 1 is 1. From 0 xor 0 is 0. So by meaning of xor is nothing but just converting these numbers into binary and taking the bit by xor of their binary digits. So this is what the xor is saying, right? So 2 xor 1 is nothing but 0 1 0 xor 0 0 1 which is 0 1 1 which is nothing but 3. So similarly we can get other xor also. So 1 xor 2 is 3, 2 xor 3 is 1, 3 xor 4 basically every adjacent digit so 1 xor 2 is 1, 2 xor 3 is 1, 3 xor 4 is 7 and 4 xor 1 is 5 and hence the answer is 3175. So for any time you can just simply select two digits every two adjacent digits and simply xor them and generate the following digits. So in the second case my 5 xor 7 is 2, my 7 xor 2 is 5, my 2 xor 8 is 10, 8 xor 5 is 13 and 5 xor 4 is 1 and for the last digit which is 4 xor 5 is 1. And hence the answer is just merge this entire string. So this is what the question is trying to say. So now how we can approach this particular problem? The approach is also quite simple. Just you have to traverse through numbers. So basically for any two adjacent numbers, so I'll just traverse having a for loop for i till n and simply I can take xor of ai xor ai plus 1. Thus we have to include the condition for the last element so we can just keep that as an exception that if it is my nth iteration, we can just simply XOR my a n with a1 according to the problem statement, right? So yeah, just keep the XOR and we can just simply print the following bitwise operation, right? So we can just for each and every bit, we can simply print this operation and that will generate our following number. So this type. So the observation or the approach for this problem is quite simple. Just simply traverse and take bitwise or of adjacent operation or ad adjacent elements and simply print them in the following way. So now let's see how we can code this particular problem. Okay, now let us try to understand the code for the following problem. So here I entered all my header files necessary. Then for each of my test case in the main function, I inputted my string. Then I took the length of string in variable L. 
So if my length was one, then according to the question very easily, I can simply print the string, right? So that was given in the question. Otherwise, if the length is greater than one, then we can apply our algorithm that we can just try to generate for each and every generalized i except the last one. The answer is nothing but the ZOR of the adjacent elements, right? So from the string, we can easily generate the adjacent elements. Doing SI minus zero will nothing but return the, the difference between the string one and the string zero, which is nothing but one itself. Or for any generalized i, it will be the difference between the digits and that will return the digit itself in integer representation. So yeah, even i plus one minus zero will do the same thing. So we just took the bitwise ZOR of the adjacent elements and yeah, for doing this for n minus one operation and then for the last operation with the last digit, we can simply take it with the first digit and get our answer. And while doing so, we can just simply keep on printing this according to the output format. And yeah, this will give us the answer for the following problem. Now let us run our code on the sample test cases to understand whether this works according to our approach or not. So as you can see, we got the exact same answer given in the sample output. So yeah, this seems to be correct. Now let us submit our code on the actual test cases to evaluate whether this works correctly or not. Okay, so as you can see, we got the correct answer for the following problem. And yes, this becomes the correct way to do this particular problem. So now let's see how we can or what type of mistake people could make in this particular problem. So here, nothing was too much complicated. The straightforward, just take adjacent elements and keep zoring them to get your answer. So I think this approach is quite straightforward. And if the, uh, uh, ob and if the observation and the logic is clear in this particular problem, I don't think anywhere else any type of syntactical or logical error, there are chances of making it, right? So this is the learning you get from my video. I hope you like my video. I, uh, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.